guys, I'm Samantha. Welcome to my channel. I am here to do some recommendations for Witchathon. And you get a lovely view of my bookcase here because I'm going to be putting uh, book covers here because I can't be bothered to try to find some of the books that I have that will fit these. And other times I just don't have the books itself. And we're joined by Harry, so if you see an occasional cattail, that's why. But, um, I'm going to go over some of books that have like goddess, goddesses, or deities on them along with well that will also work for like mythology retellings and maybe some fairy, real, uh, fairy tale retellings as well but for gods, goddesses, deities, and mythology retellings you could read um, Women of Myth. Uh, this is a book that I recently had checked out from the library and it fits perfectly with that this prompt you can also go with i have the third volume here death note um this has to do with the japanese death god so you can use that for this prompt and it's pretty uh, easy to get through with it being a manga um and it's kind of it kind of would go with uh, somewhat of a mythology retelling but it will fit more of the goddess prompt Oops, sorry for that. um also, Cersei and Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller would fit these two prompts as well. Percy Jackson series obviously would work. And then North, Norse Mythology. This is, to, uh, you can use this as a mythology re retelling as well because it just kind of, it's a modern day retelling of these myths. So you can definitely fit it for that. For more on the mythology retelling side, uh, with some hints of some of the gods in them, is A Thousand Ships. This one ha tells more of the sides of the um, women of the, I believe it's the like, Iliad, and um, I am studying it in a Coursera course, and it just completely left my brain but the Homer stories it tells it from the woman's point of view and then Ariadne is a retelling of a myth as well that has to do with the Minotaur um then you have Laura Olympus this will also fit for gods and goddesses because Persephone and Hades retelling the wicked and divine is a mythology and gods retelling it kind of puts the gods in a more modern day setting and then you have Icarus, which is also part of the kind of the Minotaur lore mythology where you're telling. He is, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, I believe that he is part of that myth. He, or he's linked to that kind of myth itself. But, um, and then going in more into the fairy tale retellings, or tons of fairy tale retellings, um, a good author would be Gregory Maguire for the Wicked series. Um, he also did Mirror Mirror, Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister. He did a Alice in Wonderland um, retelling after Alice. Um, he's done quite a few different retellings um, lately, so I definitely highly recommend him as a good fairy tale retelling author. And then you have the Mirror Mended series by Alex E. Harrow that starts with a spindle splintered. Those are really great short novellas that you can read for the fairy tale retellings. And then you have Spinning Silver and Uprooted by Naomi Novak. Those are, um, Spinning Silver is a play on the Ripple Stiltskin retelling. And then you have The Malice Duology by Heather Walters. That is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. And then you have Beastly, which is a, um, excuse me, Malice is a Sleeping Beauty retelling. Beastly is a Beauty and the Beast re retelling. I'm starting to get ahead of myself. But those are just some of the books that I can give recommendations off the top of my head for those. For red covers, um, the book Elvis by Christopher Pellanini. You will have to read Aragon before this, but that one has a red cover. Catching Fire in the Hunger Games series. Smoke Gets in Your Eyes by Caitlin Doherty. This isn't a fully red cover, but it has red on the cover. If you can find any form of red on the cover, I will accept this as a entry. 
um, House of Earth and Blood. It is a primarily red. And then The Nickel Boys um, uh, by Colson Whitehead has mostly red on the cover. I suggest um, doing that as well. Just for a few books that will feature crafts. Um, so Witchy would also go for like a witchy book and featuring crafts because it's mostly um, giving you ideas of using sewing in your witchcraft practice and how you can integrate the two. Then there's the Friday Night Knitting Club series by Kate Jacobs. This is probably one of my favorite knitting like themed stories. I reread it every so often. Then there's While Beauty Slept, with it being um, another Sleeping Beauty retelling, and this can go for the fairy tale retelling, but it also includes the Sleeping Beauty story it involves spinning because of the spinning wheel and the spindle that she ends up touching. So a spindle splintered would also fit for that as well because it incorporates that craft. And Like Water for Chocolate um, features cooking, and she also, I believe, crochets in that book as well, if I'm remembering correctly. So it features that. And I consider uh, cooking and baking as a craft because it you can use it in a witchcraft setting as well. And depending on Like Water for Chocolate, it will kind of consider like a witchy read because the way that she incorporates um, her cooking into her life, she it has a magical element to it, so it would be a form of kitchen witchcraft. And then there's the Beach Street Knitting Society in Yarn Club for incorporating more knitting into your reading. Now, for Cat on the Cover, I did have to consult Mr. Google for this. Um, books that came up for it is A Man Called Uwe by Frederick Bachman. Hex Hall, If It Bleeds, in Dr. Sleep by Stephen King, and The Last House on Needless Street. Um, really, any book that has a cat on the cover, or if it features a cat in the book too, I'll allow that. And then we have Mental Health Rep, um, 13 Reasons Why is a good one. Perks of Being a Wallflower, The Silent Patient, Just Listen, and Cranked are just some of the books that I have read and will recommend for a good mental health rep in this. And I also have five star reads listed on here, but I'll probably just go through my good reads list and do like a separate video going over um, five star reads. Um, now, a lot of my favorite books aren't, aren't necessarily five star reads, but I'll just do a separate video for just five star reads itself since it's just a prompt um but overall yeah those are just some of the ideas to kind of give you a jumping off point if you are struggling with any of these prompts for whatever reason it gives you at least a good idea where to start and how you can incorporate more than one prompt into them but yeah I am really excited for Witchathon to start at the beginning of May on May 1st. I am hoping to do a like kickoff sprint like I've done in the past uh, for them. There'll be lots of fun activities throughout the whole month that you can participate in. Be sure to check out the other host channel. Um, they will be, some of them will be doing some of their own recommendation videos. And if you are on those, on those, um, teams and they could be able to help you with that and I may do sprinkle in occasional videos here and there when it comes to them but we'll see and until next time you guys happy reading mm -hmm.